Well, good morning from Las Vegas, and welcome to drive time today. Uh, family's all heading out to uh, Massachusetts for Thanksgiving. A couple more days here because it's PBR week in Vegas, watching some rodeo. Um, today's topic, one of my greatest mentors, a gentleman by the name of Jim Rohn, E. James Rohn. Jim Rohn, I was lucky enough to meet him twice in my life. Once when I was 16 years old in the Brisbane City Town Hall in Australia where I grew up. And then once uh, in Sydney at the Entertainment Center where I was the opening act or one of the opening acts for Mr. Rohn. And I got to show him my notes. He signed my notes when I was 16. And I got to show him my notes again when I was, uh, I think it was 31 or 32 when I was speaking on the same stage as him. It was kind of cool. And uh, he said, oh, he, he flicked through the notes again that he took. He said, you took very good notes here. Please call me Jim. I said, yes, Mr. Rohn. Um, you know, Mr. Rohn said so many great things and put me on a path. I, I guess, you know, the path started at age 16. The Rotary Club in my area, uh, thanks to Len Summers, uh, who's the president of the Rotary Club, I won the Ryler Award, Rotary Youth Leadership Award, and got sent away for a week's training on how to be a leader and how to be successful and stuff at 16. And at 16, that's an amazing thing to learn this stuff. I think that learning things uh, when you're young about success and wealth and stuff and I can't help but push down the throat of young people that you got to keep learning at that age but not just learning at school learning outside of school now my latest book the wealth coach uh, a lot of my friends are giving it to their kids and uh, the kids are really getting it uh, I do a podcast apprentice billionaire which if you want to look up the apprentice billionaire podcast it's interviewing young millennials about how they're succeeding and what they're doing and stuff and put your kids on that or watch yourself even but Mr. Rohn said some incredible things about success and about life and um, you know one of the first things he said was work harder on yourself than you do on your job because if you build you uh, then everything else is because another statement of his which was incredible which is never wish your life were easier wish that you were better so you think about it, never wish life were easier, wish you were better. It's like never wish business were easier, wish you were better at business. You know, business doesn't get easier, you get better at business. As you become a better business person, a better entrepreneur, better at sales. See, sales will never get easier, you just gotta be better at sales. Marketing will never get easier, you gotta learn to be better at marketing. So in, in entrepreneurship stakes, when Jim Rohn says work harder on yourself than you do on your job, it's about keep learning and keep growing because if you keep learning and you keep growing, then life gets easier and everything gets better. Oh, by the way, in answer to questions I got yesterday, no, this is not a right-hand drive. This is just reverse on the camera. Makes my left-hand drive car here in America look, uh, and yeah, it is a Tesla, so it drives itself, so don't panic. Um, when you sit there and start thinking about these things, and I remember running down to Mr. Rohn at the end of the seminar and saying, Mr. Rohn, what's one thing I can do as a 16-year-old boy that'll guarantee me success? And Mr. Rohn said something to me that stuck with me and it's changed the course of my life. He said, son, if you read a book a week for the rest of your life, you'll be guaranteed to be successful. Not a book a day or a book a month, but a book a week. So I said about that with a ferocious attitude and aptitude and uh, now several, you know, it's over 2,000 books. I don't, I've forgotten the number now. I tried to keep count for a long while. It was over 2,000 I'd kept count. But so when I read a book a week and today it's even easier. I mean, you've got blogs, you've got audio books, Audible. I think I'm Audible's best customer and stuff like that. And you start thinking about learning. And I, I have a simple statement. You've got to learn before you earn. You can't out earn your learning. And so it doesn't matter what age you're at, the moment you stop learning, your earning capacity stops. If you're a business owner and you stop learning, your business has grown to your level of incompetence. And once you've hit your level of incompetence, it's done. The business can't grow anymore. So every one of us has to continually learn and continually grow if we want our business to grow, we want our income to grow, we want our investments to grow. You're not gonna grow anything without extra learning. So the people you hang out with, and another thing Mr. Rohn said, you know, within five years, uh, you'll be within plus or minus 10% of the five people you hang out with the most. So who are you hanging out with? Where are they at financially? Are they dragging you down financially or building you up financially? Are they dragging you down in relationships or building you up, dragging you down in health or building you up? So if you don't surround yourself with the right people, then it's, it's very difficult. 
I always say it very clearly, and, and you should write this down. If you don't know where you want to be in five years, you're already there. If you haven't set a goal or a dream for where you want to be five years from now, you are already there. And, and, and you cannot change that. The, the rules of success have been the rules of success forever. Hang on, I gotta take over, I gotta get off at this exit. I'm uh, gonna visit a buddy and say, hey. Um, if every time you think about wanting to increase your earning or every time you wanna think about having a better area of life, better health, better performance, better uh, sales, better uh, marketing results, better operating, whatever it is that you want to have better results at, there's three key things you gotta do. Number one, you gotta measure the current result. You gotta know what you're currently got as the result. Number two, you gotta set a goal of what you want the new result to be. So don't think that, oh yeah, I just want it better. It can't, you can't, better is not a goal. There is no such thing as better being a goal. There is a specific number, a specific measure, a specific way, a specific thing. So no, measure where you're at now, set a goal for where you wanna be, make sure that that's real clear, you know what it is, use the SMART test, specific, measurable, achievable, results oriented with a time frame. And then, third thing you gotta do is learn how to get there. You know, become the person that can achieve that result. Don't think that, uh, uh, you know, you're gonna get there. I have a simple formula, B times do equals have. Who you are multiplied by what you do determines what you have. So yeah, you can decide what you wanna have, set your dreams and goals and everything, but if you don't go to work and do it, it's not gonna happen. Do you need to get better at what you do? Yeah, you need better skill sets, you need better performance, all that sort of stuff. And third of all, you gotta become that person. You gotta be that person, the beliefs, the behaviors, all of these B words, you're a human being, not a human doing or a human having. Anyway, that's drive time for today. Thanks, Mr. Rohn, for being a great mentor way back when. I think that uh, mentors like Jim Rohn, if they were everybody got to listen to him, speak to him, and hear from him, we'd have a lot more success going on out there in the world and a lot happier people going out in the world. So have a great day. That's drive time. Look forward to chatting to you soon. Uh, make sure you post your lessons down below of what you got. And if you got any friends that need this message, please share. Take care. Have a good day.